God. Where that one guy from? was bleeding. His mouth was. I mean, it was. It was see, I don't yeah, like that freak show stuff. I don't know why John Burt wanted those people there, but it, it worked for him. I don't want to see people crowd. picking up bricks with their nipples. I'm just not no, into I'm that not kind into of that thing. It makes me sick. But I remember looking at those guys thinking. Oh my God, the Barrymore's gonna burn. <laughs> was, was like, they'll never be back at the Barrymore, I'm sure. Mm. But they were very nice people. Anyway, but anyway, <laughs> Sue's done that. Not only has Sue done that for us, you know, um, she, she, she was really out there. Look at the hole. <laughs> also, she was at, you, you think know, you can turn did, that chicken the other way around? Us. I did uh, with her the, the Elmer Burn Park victims. Uh, she was there, back there with us, and, and out there on the Elmer Park. I was kind of thinking about the time I first met you, right you around know, the yeah, time. Yeah, she did that for the Burn victims, man. Uh, for, you know, she, we went I live, too. We were out live yeah. on the radio. I was out there, too. And so I was like, we that were having a good time fun. out for this. I raised money for the Burn victims, 1047 bucks, I think it was, Those with guys uh, are doing David good Gray. Too. With David Gray, uh, yeah. the comedian. comedian. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Sue Peterson has done so many things out there. I mean, she's even been in the post office, oh my God, giving away pizzas. Uh, I got That's I right, also, you came out and saw me at the yeah, post office. Yeah, I and forgot that. In the that. early days, oh. you know? <laughs> so, I was sitting here with all these pizzas and I go, Oh my God! And he goes, "Hey, let's shake it." Sundog <laughs> here. I said, "Oh my God!" Sundog came out. That was so neat. That yeah, was several that? years ago at the post office. We used to do, the, you know, on tax day. We okay. used to do live oh, at the, the, at the main office. one. Yeah. So we'd right. be out there till midnight, yeah. whatever. Sure. Like this night. time of the year now. <laughs> right. Like this. Right. We don't do them anymore because they don't like that big rush. I, mean, I think people are more, I guess, mailing them earlier or something. They email them and stuff. Big hoopla anymore. You know, yeah, even in San Diego when I lived there, they had protesters. Oh yeah. I guess people mail online now and do the whole thing online. Exactly. Yeah. That's the other thing. And over the telephone. It's not such a big rush. I used so to work same. for the IRS too. I'm not the IRS. Yeah, the IRS up here. You the, worked for the IRS. I hated it. Go yeah, figure that. He told me that story. That they were, he worked with a bunch of really? uh, people that brown bagged every day. Zombie people, man. Yeah, <laughs> zombie people. I don't want to talk about this. It's a waste of time. This is a music show. Oh, hi. <laughs> Excuse me, the creeps. Yeah, but so, I didn't uh, that creeps. So but Sue any, Peterson uh, has done so much for so many people out there, and uh, you know she's invisible because she's the. Uh, DJ, so she doesn't get to be seen as much. But those are the places people will always remember. Uh, backstage with that fat function band was like, you have guts doing what you do on the sidelines. You <laughs> the do. Sidelines. There's some memorable, you memorable <laughs> things on the sidelines. <laughs> but this is why Sue Peterson is re basically uh, representative of WIBA. You know, she's done so much for so many people, and without you know any flinching, she'll say, "Yeah, I'll do it for you. I will be there for you." And that's what I love about it. So. Thanks it so was much. hard for her to get us to get here the last three weeks because she thinks so much about the things that she does for the station, blah blah blah. As I do for this here station, you know, you gotta be where your heart is at, you know. And um, everybody here just uh, that does this for free, she gets paid, man. She gets paid thousands and thousands of dollars. She I don't. Right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know? DJs never want to let you know what. Did they you see make. my car out there? <laughs> no, I haven't. No, well, come on out after the show. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, I just want to thank changed. you for being on our show tonight, and uh, maybe we have some time to get it back again. Hopefully, she'll be down to see us at the Sun, Summer Sundog Absolutely. Shakedown. Absolutely, very fun. And here's some of the bands. Can you meet, read some of those bands? Yeah, Can you do see that what you got us? here. Uh, Professor Lovey and yeah, the Chromatics. Yeah, Professor Louie and the Chromatics. Um, Humphreys McGee. Yeah. Mississippi. Oh, I've seen Mississippi, Mississippi Heat. Cactus. Oh, Cactus. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mississippi Heat. There's another band called Heat, I do believe. Yeah, there Mississippi is. Cactus I've seen three times on your show. First time I've seen Mississippi Heat. We just got to see her. going to be at Ken's tonight, so yeah. make sure you go down and see them. Sweet Potato Project, Green Situation. Oh, they're coming to Luther's. Are they? Are they, really? they not? Really? Are they? Well, they're from Platteville. Oh, I must be wrong. I might, that may be. Oh, Grievous Glove. Just saw them two weeks ago, I believe, in Good your show. Jam, Had man. them on my live show. Right. Good gen. Do uh, you? I had them on my live show you did? about a year ago. Groovy oh, List Glove. They didn't tell me none of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, way back oh, in the beginning. Chops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're a jam band. So, to be honest, we got Jack Straw, uh, Vince Welnick, yeah, the Black the Muddy band. River Boys, Anatopia, Deja Voodoo. Oh, I like now, that. Bony Fingers. You know Vince Welnick from The Tubes and then uh, The Last Grateful Dead piano, oh, pianist. Vince Welnick from The Tubes? Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess I better be and there. He was five years in The Grateful Dead, keyboards. King Fre Fre Freud, uh, El Donk, who we know in Madison, in amazing headgear. Wow, you've got the lineup and here. And we've still huh? got more. I just couldn't think of this them all. This is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, this is just, yeah. Of them. This sure. Is well, well, this is a great, that's a, great uh, a great festival. And the weekend is going to be? Labor Day weekend, August 31st, September 1st, 2nd, 3rd. And that's going to be where? Near Alpine Valley, somewhere. Yeah. About uh, seven miles, you said, Seven south miles north? north of Alpine Valley. So you can have uh, maps choice. available online, or yeah. maps where people can go get stuff and stuff. Actually, there. you can go to the website right now, but it, there's okay. nothing really there. But it's, it's summer, sundog, shakedown.itgo.com. 
There it goes. And, uh, be excited about when will tickets be available? Shakedown? No, second. No, well, second. First, first oh, shakedown. Shakedown. Last year he did a zappening uh, two th Oh, the right, zappening, right. 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 Frank Zappa, just thing. Yeah, that, that was, was very successful. Yeah, it was so much fun. I wish I could have seen the whole thing. Tickets on sale now. Tickets, yeah, tickets on sale tickets now. now. How much are tickets then, Doug? Let's see. Tickets are forty-five dollars. That's cheap for and all those bands. What, what that is for is that? twenty dollars in advance for the reservations, and then when you get to the gate, so you don't have to pay for the whole thing out one time. So when you get to the gate, you pay the the camp uh, entrance fee there, and you get the wristband. They take okay. their license down, so they know that they're right. you're there. You're, and then you get directed to your camping. There's right only a minimum of, I mean, a max of six hundred people invited to it. So it'd be oh, that's a cat. gathering of a bunch of deadheads. Boy, that's gonna be mm -hmm. fun. Well, we said deadheads, not Aussie heads. Okay, not no. We're this not into that right at all. Leave attitudes at home or get the hell the out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one with the attitude. This is not for the me. Me and Jack get to be the attitude at the fest. So that's we'll probably the most rare. You guys both going to camp, huh? We're going to share a ton of that. Well, yeah, we'll so we'll the uh, it is so nice looking too. It's, uh, it is just really nice for, for being here. We had the other one in Peoria, so it was a hassle. Three hour drive out, three hour drive back. This actually you know. is closer. You just, a lot yeah, closer. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Right. I mean, it's be Half the distance. Bonfires, you have each camp site, you have a, a fire for yourself, you know, it's not going to be one barn fire and that's it. So it'll be just, we just one continuous party from No nitrous oxide. Shut up, we really? We don't want no bottles. Oh, oh no, 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 no bottles, you know. No bottles, no glass. No, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. And then we got a lot of good bands, as you can tell. People should know better. So it's going to be a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, Humphreys McGee just played the Regent Street Retreat. And now they're playing the Terrace. On June, on April 27th. Well, maybe yeah. I should call them. You should you give me a number and I'll have them on the show. You should. They're, they're up and fun. coming big time. They're good. They're very cool. They I've are, heard. They're, they're a great band. I really yeah, like them. It's going to be a good summer, huh? Yeah, it is. A lot of it good shows really coming is. up. It's just the beginning. I love it. Of course, I'm going to be busy May 1st. I suppose you're not going to that. Uh uh, I can't. It's going to be a good show, though. Are you going to get pictures and everything? Maybe. That'd be Hopefully. Sweet. Very nice. I would like to meet Angus. That would be nice. Excuse me. That would be hot. You know, get some ACDC pictures. How many times. pictures? You guys probably got a lot of pictures. Great of pictures. Emerson, like a Palmer. Me and Susan Tedeschi, that was my latest from last year's Blues Fest. Really nice picture. Cece DeVille from Poison. Wow. Cece. I'm still trying to get John Kay here. Oh my I, God. I have the greatest pictures of me and John Kay that you've ever seen you in your life. I got backstage at Summer Fest like five years ago. And I walked in, I'd never met John Kay because I wanted to marry him. Then I would be suitcase, suitcase, suit, just like the suitcase, song. Suitcase, suitcase, suit. He did not think that. Well, suitcase, suitcase, suit. Oh, he's so good at it. No, I get it. <laughs> but you know what's so funny? I told the manager that, and he was like, uh, not funny. I go, okay. <laughs> Come backstage. I go, don't tell him that. I go, okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, wow. But he used to say it on the radio all the time. He was very gracious, very wonderful man, and uh, great I'm trying, I'm trying to get him. Uh, I just want to say one thing before we uh, get out here and have our Easter weekend on. We are going to have um, a battle of the bands, but we, we decided to change the battle of bands to the WYU concert series. It's going to be starting in May, and each Saturday after that for eight Saturdays, and it's going to be like a dance. We're not going to televise it live. If you have a band that wants to be on this, we're preferably looking for teenage bands because you people never get to go out there because of the clubs in 21, the bracket. I got situation. a bunch of teenage bands for you. A can bunch you of send really some good to ones. Us? Oh my God, I will send Sue, you the best teenage bands. We would love bands. you forever for this. And I you could be a judge if you'd like of all this too, if you want. You so, know? what do you mean by teenage? Like Sailor we, Harlot, we, they're 18 and 19, so can, that's the oldest. They've been on our era. show before. Then I got some 16 year old bands, some younger Fine. ones. Fine. Oh, that'll can be you fun. dish this up? Absolutely, I would love to. Jimmy and I would love to, for you to do this. Oh, us. absolutely, it's a great opportunity. This, you have such a great sound system here, and it's great yeah. exposure for the bands to be on TV. We'll what have other options we'll do have they have? We'll have this all up in the teenagers right. come, because the new loft, as you know, is not no more. They're in the transformation of going from the right. Fairchild, where the, the Arch District is right. going to be, to this place right up the street here. Well, my dad used to go to the loft. Oh, yeah. That's where all the kids used to hang out even back, you know, mm -hmm. that, I mean, that thing's been around forever. Mm -hmm. Now they drive up and down the street behind us here. Well, now, yeah, now they have no boss, so they're, they're, they're doing circles outside Sundog Show in the parking lot. <laughs> I know, He's got hit sad, three times it? just talking to Jack for isn't five minutes. That, that's what they get to do. They well, teenagers, we did that too in the too. Well, 70s. We drove around. Yeah, but that's what we get to do. That's we sad. drove around and drank. We should be okay. <laughs> what was legal? Well, I don't know if it was legal, but <laughs> everybody did it. That was just, it was, nobody thought about it, I guess. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you got a band, like Sue's probably gonna give us some bands. Now you got our website, and I'll mm -hmm. give it to you at the end of the show. I in case get you don't it. have, you know, it's, uh, just contact me or the station here. Give them your number and the name of the band, and they'll get it to me. Or just go to timsundog at yahoo.com, or Sue Peterson. Sue Peterson at uh, WIBAFM. Uh, it's WIBAFMmail.com.